Hi, I'm Paul from PDH Sports, UK's leading online racket specialist, and today I've got four new rackets for 2019. Now, these four rackets, uh, we're going to do a little bit of a head-to-head. -head. Uh, the reason I've chosen these four rackets are um, they were given to me by the suppliers to play test and review. So um, it's going to be quite interesting today because these are rackets that um, have been play tested. I've been using these for a couple of weeks. But what I wanted to do was a little bit of a head-to-head. Uh, so we've got the Prince Venom Pro 950, which a lot of people have been uh, showing some interest and asking for like a review on. We've got the new Ali Farag Hyperfiber XT uh, Revelation Pro signature racket. Quite interesting, um, this is from Black Knight, so this is called the Maverick. So this is the new Daryl Selby signature frame. And then finally, um, one from Ashway, which is the Venom X Flash. So, Four different rackets, two with sort of traditional head shapes and then two with a teardrop. Okay, so let's take these four rackets on court and um, see how they play. Okay, so we've got the uh, Revelation Pro in my hand, so uh, I love the new look of this racket. It's got a slightly new, new cosmetic. We've got the black string, so we've got the silk string. But really where this racket is strong is because there's a little bit of weight in the head. It's, it's really a driver's racket. Right. Lots of power and uh, you know, I feel quite confident I'm going to hit the ball fairly hard and and tight so yeah this is a great racket to get this test started with lots of power and lots of accuracy okay so next up is the uh, black knight maverick so okay so this comes with the ashway alternate 18 string so it has a really nice feel but uh, it doesn't, it's nowhere near as stiff for me as the Dunlop racket. So it almost, uh, like, I, I, I do like this racket, but it feels like there's a bit of flex in the shaft. And then, and uh, I found that that was the one thing it's taken me a little bit of getting used to is, is that sometimes there's, like I say, there's like almost a, a recoil of the shaft when I strike the ball, but it's still, um, uh, you know, it's still like, still feels like a really powerful uh, racket. I feel like you get lots of power with this as well. Okay, so now on to the, uh, the Prince Venom Pro. So, uh, this has got the, uh, this comes through the air so quickly. You can see like, uh, it's just exploding through the ball. So, I mean, uh, one thing with this, the racket head comes through so quickly. It takes a little bit of getting your timing going, but with good timing, this is so far the most powerful. So this is the new Ashway Venom X Flash. So now, again coming with the Ashway string is a real uh, like, pos like positive point. Um, this one uh, feels got quite an open stringing pattern. So this one feels, it feels the lightest that we've hit with so far. So I'm not, <laughs> It's not getting quite as much power, but they are pretty even, even so far. There is power there, look. You can get the power, but... It 
yeah, I think it just took me a little bit getting used to there, just the change of balance, but um, maybe my least favorite so far on the power, but still really good power. Right, so we're now onto the control shot and the feel. And again, we've got the Revelation Pro. And this is such a solid all round racket because, again, it's a little bit less maneuverable, but for someone that likes to hit clean lines, straight accurate ball, this is such a good racket. So, like when I've been play testing it, I found my, uh, yeah, like the straight line shots, like really improved. Um, slightly head heavy for what I like really like, but I think I was, if I stuck with it, this was a really sort of benefit from this racket because it's such a, uh, so stable through, uh, through both your short shots and your drives. So, Again, this one really performs well on uh, control shots. Okay, so now I've got the Black Knight Maverick and uh, like, it's not quite as consistent through the ball, but again, I can just feel the shaft, the shaft seems to like flex a little bit, but like, I think it's still more my style of racket because it, you can feel the fact that the head will come through like quicker. So if you are someone that likes to flick it around a bit, then uh, this is another, this is a good option. It's more maneuverable than say the Revelation Pro, but I can just feel that like when I'm hitting my drop shots, and I found this when I had it in my gameplay, it was just a little bit less consistent, but um, it still works because I don't really like to play just up and down squash. I'm trying to move the ball around, and that's where the, uh, the balance of this one seems to work. So, back now on the Prince racket and uh, back to that more sort of stable feel. Now, this one makes a different sound through the, through the, the, the swing because you know, the sort of speed port holes. So like, the beauty of this one is you can sort of leave shots late and then maximize how that racket head speed is. But, really consistent feel through all of these short shots. It's just going in exactly as I'm planning, which is really important if you want a racket, you're going to play with confidence, especially on days like today where the ball's bouncing a bit more, it's really warm on court. Okay, so we're now on the, the uh, Venom X-Flash Ashway racket. So again, this is kind of like getting, it's difficult for this racket. It's coming right at the end of the, the four hits. And this one it feels, feels so much more lighter than the others. That um, seems to take me a little bit getting used to, but uh, it's quite lively off the frame, this one, off the, off the strings. So, you know, it's probably a good kind of control racket for somebody that wants a little bit more forgiveness because this has probably got one of the, actually one of the biggest sweet spots, but it just doesn't feel quite as dialed in as the other rackets when I hit it perfectly, but it certainly uh, gives me that little bit more room for the not perfect strike.
Okay, so really, uh, this is like the end of really a three week worth of tests. I know today you've seen me hitting some uh, balls up and down the wall, but I have genuinely been play testing these. Now, um, some of you have seen before that my actual racket of choice that I have mainly in my bag is the Technifiber Carbflex X-Speed. So I really enjoyed play testing these rackets. Now, for me, probably the two most solid rackets in terms of if I was wanting to hit some really tight straight balls were, were the Dunlop and the Prince. Um, I think out and out power, the Prince racket kind of seemed to come out top. Um, you can, it makes a different sound, so that's something people need to be aware of. The, the holes in the racket, you can hear it kind of accelerating through the air. Um, the, the, the Dunlop racket, I felt like, you know, is such a steady, it's fairly stiff, but it's a really stable racket. Um, now, this one was one of the rackets that surprised me because I could never quite work out whether I loved it or I didn't because, as I said, I feel like a bit of a flex in the shaft, but sometimes that's quite nice because you can actually feel the, it kind of giving you like an extra boost of power. And, and I think over a couple of matches, I started to find that I was used to that feeling and I was really starting to love that racket. The least favorite um, out of the rackets was this one, but I think it's more to do with the fact the string is very open and it feels like the lightest. Um, I did have one day in particular where um, I felt like I got a lot more out of the racket, but just generally I feel like I was more inconsistent. I didn't quite have the feel. Now I'm coming from like a feel where I'm really trying to dial in and make sure I'm hitting the ball as well as I can and, and anything outside of that, um, you know, I notice and I feel like when I hit the ball perfectly, I didn't get quite as much like feel as I did from the other rackets, but then where this, this kind of is good is it's a little bit more forgiving maybe than the others. So um, on the short shots, again, um, they all performed well. Um, I had the most fun probably with the Black Knight racket because it's more maneuverable. And like, like I said, I like to try and got a little bit lazy in my old age and I like to flick the ball around a little bit. Um, when I was doing sort of drop drive exercises, these two again were like standout rackets. You know, I had, I, I was doing some training and I was just hitting the ball like so consistently with these two. But once I got into a game, I had more fun with that. So um, overall in conclusion, like I said, coming from the back of my, this not, these not being my four, my racket of actual choice, um, I think the Prince racket performed the best. I might find it hard to move because having not really used prints much before, it's a slightly different um, shape and on a sort of standalone shots, like I said, it's just un oh, it, was, it was unbeatable, it probably wasn't the best performance. But when I get in a game, just getting used to whether I would actually be a Prince player. Um, if I wanted to sort of really focus on clean lines, then this is like, you're gonna really hard press to beat that one. And then these two kind of like, really offer something slightly different. So more maneuverability um, out of these two. I think I preferred the Maverick, um, but like, you know, I would, I would say anyone that wants a more forgiving racket, then that's a good choice. So which one am I gonna pick as the best? I think ultimately this one came out the best. The Prince would be my sort of top choice out of these four rackets at the moment after sort of three weeks of play testing. So, Hopefully something slightly different today, a little bit of head to head. They're all great rackets. Everyone has brand favorites, so um, yeah, it'd be interesting. But I think they're four rackets that everybody should take a look at. And they're now available at pdhsports.com.